Welcome back to Jalen and Jacoby. Odell, Mr. Beckham. O, B, J, Junior, Jr. What are you doing? We have to talk with you, Odell. If you didn't see it, a video surfaced this weekend featuring the giant star wide receiver lying down in a bed with what looks to be a large pepperoni pizza. He's holding something in his hand, which you could say looks like, I don't know, a, a brown cigarette. You can make your own assumptions as to what you think that may be. Also, next to him is a female who seems to be cutting up lines of a white powdery substance. Jalen, this is a concern for Mr. Beckham Jr. This is a concern for the Giants. What do you think this video will have as an effect on his career? Well, here's what I've learned about Odell Beckham Jr. And by the way, there are athletes over the history of time in professional sports that have been really successful, performed at a Hall of Fame level, even got into the Hall of Fame and are champions that went just as hard away from their field or the court as they did on it. But the difference is 2018, it seems like everything is a lot more magnified. Yep. But here's the catch. Everything is also a lot more detrimental. Let me just tell you this. Me personally, after what I saw happen to Lynn Bias as a basketball player, that taught me one thing. I never want to be in the same room, the same stratosphere as someone that potentially is cutting up a white powdered substance with a credit card. That's mm -hmm. number one, period. Mm -hmm. Number two. It's all good to have all of the fun that you want. Laying up in bed, you got yeah. the pizza, you probably got something that you're smoking on, it's your off-season. But here's the thing. You can't forget your core base of business and why we know you is because you play football. If you were an entertainer, then these things would not be frowned upon because most of entertainers aren't called upon to be role models. In professional sports, that comes with the territory. You put on a path for education. You need to stay eligible in high school. You need to stay eligible in college. Now you're on the biggest stage. You've been a cover boy for Madden. You're in multiple commercials. You've become a face of the NFL for a team since you've been there. Has not really had a lot of success, especially in the no, playoffs. No. We talk about their squad. Eli won two Super Bowls before Eldell Beckham. Not the other way around. And I think that kind of gets twisted as we look at the history of Odell when he's talked about wanting to be the greatest of all time, wanting to be the highest paid player, but certain behavior that happens away from the field clearly imped impedes that from happening. And now it's come to fruition with this video. Well, I'm glad you brought that up because Odell Beckham is a bit of a habitual line stepper when it comes to off-field actions that are somewhat questionable. A couple things I want to say before we get into that is, number one, we have no idea if Odell Beckham used any illicit substances. We certainly didn't see him using any in that video. We also don't know when the video is from. There's some debate about that. It could be as soon as last week or it could be years ago based on some of the evidence in the video. But his off-field transgressions or questionable behavior is something that's been going on for quite some time. We all remember that one off-season where he spent some time, as you mentioned, with an entertainer who might have a different lifestyle than a professional athlete. There he is with a Kardashian. And then, don't forget this, he missed the OTAs that year. And then there was the boat in Miami where he had his shirt off and then he went into the playoffs and lost that. And then just as recently, he tweeted that he didn't want to play in the preseason. All of these things keep adding up and adding up and adding up. And it seems like when we talk about Odell Beckham Jr., we're not always talking about yards and touchdowns. A lot of times we're talking about these off-field things. Jalen, how much impact do you think this will have on his next contract, what the Giants will do with him, or his effectiveness on the field? First and foremost, it's going to affect his brand, his endorsements, and his ability to sell products. He's been a guy that's been able to parlay that area of his life into more money than he gets in his football contract. That's a good point. This is going to affect that, number one. 
Number two, you have a bigger responsibility as the best player on the team to give us more than just yards and touchdowns. When you're having these emotional breakdowns on the field, you're proposing to the kicking net and all of these other things that have taken place, they become sideshows that other people have to talk about that have nothing to do with football. And I love Drake probably more than anybody on the earth and is art, a, a, as an artist. Been a big fan of his before he got famous because I was playing in Toronto when he was on his come up. There's nothing necessarily, quote unquote, wrong with living with him. But what you got to pay attention to is the people that write your checks. They look at that as a level of imagery. They would look at it a lot different, I guess, if he was living with Jerry Rice or if he was living with Eli Manning, because this seems like that you're focused on your craft. And so hanging out with a Kardashian, we all saw what that has happened to athletes. Big shout to Tristan Thompson. We were them, wishing them the best. Yep. But again, this all goes back to a player that's playing in New York, says he wants to be the highest paid player. When we're talking about more things other than them winning football games, now we're talking about him playing for his third coach. These are not going to affect his bottom line. And it seemed in the playoff game when they went to Miami that week, it clearly affected his productivity. It has. And it just seems like in this video there's a lot of questionable decisions. Whatever he's holding his hand seems questionable. Certainly being around somebody, cutting up that white powdery substance is very questionable. Also, the pepperoni in that pizza, that looked disgusting. If you're going to, don't order pizza in Europe. Come on, Odell <laughs> Beckham. Don't order pizza in Europe. That's what I wanted to ask pepperonis. you. What are you doing? You're in bed? Like, there's no plates that around? Wasn't well done napkins? Either. That just looked gross. <laughs> Coming up next on Jalen and Jacoby, Dwayne Wade is an ear poker? We'll explain. You see a 